Hello everybody, I'm RCA Daniela and these are Danny's Deeds, a weekly video series where I talk about stuff happening in the Research Center. On this week's episode, guest passes. So if you didn't know that you can have overnight guests, well now you do, you're allowed to have overnight guests. So I'm going to go over a few of the details on how you can get a guest pass or how long the guest can stay here. So a resident must always have permission from their roommates and suite mates in order to have the guests stay with them. You should always talk to them before you have someone in your room staying overnight. You are not allowed to have more than three overnight guests at a time. And a resident may not have an overnight guest, whether the same one or a different person, for more than four consecutive nights or more than six nights in a calendar month. The same person cannot be a guest, so whoever was staying with you, for more than six nights per month, regardless of what guest, what resident they're staying with. Now, something that we wanna emphasize on is that a resident is responsible for the actions of the guest. So you need to make sure that they're aware of the policies in place in the residence hall. Make sure that they know that any violation or anything that were to happen, it would fall on you. So just make sure that they're aware of all the rules and that they abide by them during their stay in Ruben. A guest pass is something that you can get for a guest that you don't want them to have to give their ID to public safety and that you want them to have the flexibility of getting in and out of the building without you. You're still more than welcome to send them in with public safety. What will happen though is that you will have to be with them at all times in order for them to get their ID from public safety. Make sure that whenever you're having a guest, they know that they need to have a government issued ID that can be a passport or a driver's license, but nothing like credit cards that will not be accepted by public safety. So you just need to remind them before they come to bring one with them. For winter break, things are going to be a little bit different. We're going to be waiving the four night rule and we're going to be extending that to six nights. You need to have all guest pass requests for winter break due here in the Research Center by December 21st. Remember that December 21st, you need to have these conversations with your roommates now to get the guest passes signed before they leave. Anything after December 21st will not be accepted and will not be approved. So make sure that you talk to them, tell them when you have a guest coming. If your guest is going to be staying here more than six nights, you need to talk to RHRM Chloe. She will discuss with you what the conditions are to the person needing to stay here longer and it'll be a case-by-case -case basis kind of thing. And I know that I threw a lot of information at you guys today, so you're more than welcome to stop by the Research Center. Anyone that works here will have all this information at hand and we're all happy to answer questions. Just remember, December 21st is the last day to hand in guest passes for winter break. Be sure to check back in next week for another episode of Danny's Deeds. Bye.